Red alert, eight signs your pancreas is stopping working. The truth that few doctors can detect in time. What if your body was sending desperate signals that you're ignoring right now? How many people close to you have received late diagnoses that could have been avoided? What would happen if you found out today that your pancreas has been sending alerts for months? Your pancreas is a silent organ working tirelessly behind the scenes of your body. It produces essential digestive enzymes and hormones like insulin that control your blood sugar. When this vital organ begins to fail, it sends subtle signals that are often mistaken for less serious health problems. The symptoms may seem disconnected from each other, causing less attentive doctors not to make the necessary correlation. Early diagnosis can literally be the difference between life and death when it comes to pancreatic disease. Would you be able to identify these signs if they appeared in your life today or in the life of someone you love? The truth is that knowing these signs can save not only your life, but also that of people you love. Ignoring these symptoms isn't just dangerous. It can be fatal when it comes to serious pancreatic problems. In this text, I will reveal the eight most important signs that your pancreas gives when it is losing its functionality. Pay close attention to each of them, as recognizing them can make all the difference to your health and longevity. Let's get started. 1. The insidious pain that many mistake for simple digestive problems. Pancreatic-related abdominal pain usually begins mildly and intermittently. It usually manifests itself in the central region of the abdomen, just below the ribs. This pain can radiate to the back, creating a feeling of discomfort that runs through the body. Many people confuse this symptom with simple indigestion or transient intestinal problems. This confusion is exactly what makes this sign so dangerous and insidious to your health. The most worrying feature is that this pain often worsens after meals, especially the fattier ones. Your body is literally signaling that it can't properly process the food you're consuming. When the pancreas is inflamed or damaged, it doesn't produce enough digestive enzymes to properly break down food. The intensity of pain can vary from mild to severe, depending on the degree of organ involvement. Pain that persists for more than 48 hours should immediately trigger a red alert in your mind. Studies published in the Journal of Gastroenterology show that 70% of patients with chronic pancreatitis report this characteristic pain. Alcohol consumption can significantly intensify this symptom as it further overloads the already compromised pancreas. Common medications for abdominal pain can temporarily mask this symptom, leading to a dangerous delay in diagnosis. What makes this sign particularly misleading is that the pain can subside on its own in advanced stages of the disease. This reduction does not indicate improvement, but rather that the pancreas is losing its ability to signal problems. A recent survey by the University of Michigan revealed that patients wait an average of seven months before seeking medical help for this type of pain. During this critical period, damage to the pancreas can progress from reversible to permanent, completely changing the prognosis. And here's the question few ask. Is this pain you occasionally feel after heavy meals really just indigestion? 2. The red alert on your body. When the weight disappears, effortlessly. Losing weight without dieting or exercising may seem like a dream to many. In reality, this unexplained weight loss is one of the most alarming signs that your pancreas may be failing. When the pancreas doesn't function properly, it doesn't produce enough digestive enzymes to process food. This means that your body simply can't absorb essential nutrients from the meals you consume daily. Calories and nutrients literally pass through your digestive system without being used by the body. Studies show that people with pancreatic problems can lose up to 10% of their body weight in just six months. This weight loss is accompanied by a constant feeling of weakness and deterioration of muscle mass. The process is gradual but relentless and often goes unnoticed until the loss becomes too significant to ignore. The combination of weight loss with increased appetite is a particularly alarming sign that should never be ignored. Your body is literally asking for more fuel because it can't utilize what it's already getting. Researchers at the Mayo Clinic have documented that this weight loss is most pronounced in the early stages of pancreatic cancer. A review published in the New England Journal of Medicine revealed that 80% of pancreatic cancer patients experience significant weight loss before diagnosis, 
What makes this symptom even more insidious is that many people initially interpret it as something positive. I'm losing weight effortlessly may seem like a blessing until the other symptoms start to appear more intensely. Malnutrition resulting from malabsorption can lead to a host of other health problems that further mask the original cause. Vitamin deficiencies, hair loss, brittle nails, and dry skin can distract from the real underlying problem. You need to ask, is there any logical explanation for your recent weight loss? Or is it time to investigate further? Three, what your gut is desperately trying to tell you. Your gut may be the first to notice that your pancreas is in trouble. Changes in bowel movements are often the most visible and disturbing sign of pancreatic dysfunction. When your pancreas doesn't produce enough digestive enzymes, food isn't properly digested. This results in stools with very specific characteristics that are real red flags for experienced doctors. The stools can become pale, bulky, greasy, and with a particularly unpleasant odor. This phenomenon, known as steatorrhea, occurs because undigested fats pass directly into the large intestine. You may notice an oily film in your toilet water after having a bowel movement, a classic sign of poor digestion of fats. The fluctuation of the stool is also an important indicator, as excess fat causes it to float instead of sinking. Chronic diarrhea that doesn't respond to conventional treatments can be a cry for help from your digestive system. Studies show that more than 90% of patients with exocrine pancreatic insufficiency have these characteristic changes in the stool. Irritable bowel is often diagnosed when in fact the problem originates from impaired pancreatic function. The persistence of these symptoms for more than two weeks should prompt further medical investigation. Alternation between diarrhea and constipation can also occur, further confusing the clinical picture. The abdominal discomfort that accompanies these bowel changes is often mistakenly attributed to other digestive conditions. Research published in the World Journal of Gastroenterology has shown that the diagnosis of pancreatic problems is delayed by an average of two years due to this confusion. During this precious time, the condition continues to progress silently, making treatment increasingly challenging. What is your bowel regularity telling you about your pancreatic health right now? 4. When your body rejects food. The sign that should never be ignored. Persistent nausea and recurrent vomiting can be much more than just an upset stomach. These symptoms are often your body's direct response to underlying pancreatic problems. When the pancreas is inflamed or damaged, it releases substances that irritate the digestive system. This irritation triggers a protective response in the body, which tries to eliminate what it considers a threat. Nausea often worsens after meals, especially those high in fats or proteins. This pattern occurs because these nutrients require more work from the pancreas to be properly processed. Vomiting may bring temporary relief, but the underlying problem continues to progress silently. Your body's unconscious refusal to accept certain foods can be a protective mechanism that you shouldn't ignore. A study conducted by the Johns Hopkins University Center for Pancreatic Research documented that 65% of patients with pancreatitis report frequent episodes of nausea. This percentage increases to 80% when we consider cases of pancreatic cancer in early stages. What makes this symptom particularly misleading is its similarity to other more common and less serious digestive conditions. Many people attribute these episodes to food poisoning, stomach viruses, or even excessive stress. This confusion leads to inappropriate treatments that only mask the symptoms without addressing the root cause. Self-medication with antacids or antiemetics can provide temporary relief, giving a false sense of security. During this crucial period, the pancreatic condition continues to progress, decreasing the chances of effective treatment. Have you noticed patterns of nausea after certain types of foods that previously did not cause discomfort? Five, more than tiredness, the exhaustion that hides a serious problem. Fatigue related to pancreatic problems goes far beyond the normal tiredness of everyday life. This deep exhaustion persists even after adequate periods of rest and restful sleep. When the pancreas fails, your body enters a state of constant metabolic stress. Cells do not receive the necessary nutrients due to poor digestion and poor absorption. The body has to work much harder to extract the least amount of energy from the food consumed. This extra effort 
drains your energy reserves, leaving you perpetually exhausted and lacking vigor. The feeling of constantly operating on low battery can be a direct sign that your pancreas is losing functionality. Research published in the European Journal of Cancer has shown that extreme fatigue is present in more than 85% of pancreatic cancer cases even before diagnosis. This tiredness is often accompanied by a feeling of generalized muscle weakness that severely affects quality of life. Everyday activities that were previously carried out effortlessly become almost insurmountable challenges. People often compensate for this fatigue with excessive consumption of caffeine and other stimulants. This compensation only temporarily masks the problem while further straining the already compromised endocrine system. The vicious cycle of exhaustion and artificial stimulation further deteriorates overall health and obscures the real underlying problem. Doctors at the Mayo Clinic warn that unexplained fatigue that persists for more than two weeks always merits medical investigation. Ignoring this symptom can cost you precious months of preventative treatment that could make all the difference in prognosis. When was the last time you felt truly rested, even after a full night's sleep? 6. The yellow that reveals a deadly secret in your organism. Jaundice, the yellowing of the skin and eyes, is perhaps the most visible and alarming sign of pancreatic problems. This symptom occurs when the inflamed pancreas or a tumor compresses the nearby bile ducts. This compression prevents bile from flowing naturally from the liver to the small intestine. The accumulation of bilirubin in the blood is what causes the characteristic yellowish color of the skin and eyes. Jaundice related to pancreatic problems usually develops gradually over days or weeks. It is often accompanied by intense itching all over the body, a symptom that is often underestimated. Urine may become dark, similar to the color of strong tea, while stools become lighter. The change in skin color that starts subtly may be the most definitive sign that something serious is going on. Studies conducted by Harvard University show that jaundice is present in more than 70% of pancreatic head cancer cases at the time of diagnosis. The problem is that when this symptom appears, the underlying condition is often already at an advanced stage. The American Society of Clinical Oncology points out that painless jaundice is a particularly worrisome sign that requires immediate medical attention. Many people mistakenly attribute the slight initial yellowing to factors such as poor lighting or eye strain. This initial denial can cost precious weeks of diagnosis and treatment in a condition where time is absolutely crucial. Experts from the National Cancer Institute recommend checking the color of the sclera, white part of the eyes, in natural light to detect the first signs. Yellowing usually appears first in the eyes before manifesting itself on the skin, offering an opportunity for early detection. When was the last time you looked closely at the color of your eyes? 7. The Metabolic Roller Coaster That few doctors associate with the pancreas. Unexplained fluctuations in blood sugar levels can be a silent sign of pancreatic dysfunction. Your pancreas is responsible for producing insulin, the hormone that regulates blood sugar. When this organ begins to fail, its ability to produce insulin properly is compromised. This can result in episodes of hyperglycemia, high blood sugar, even without a prior history of diabetes. The sudden development of diabetes in adults without traditional risk factors should always raise suspicion. This phenomenon, known as pancreatic, or type 3C diabetes, is often misdiagnosed as type 2 diabetes. The crucial difference is that pancreatic diabetes is a symptom of another, more serious underlying condition. Sudden energy swings and changes in appetite can be the first sign that your metabolism is dysregulated by pancreatic problems. Research published in the journal Diabetes Care revealed that up to 40% of patients with chronic pancreatitis develop some degree of glucose intolerance. This number rises to 60% when we talk about pancreatic cancer patients. The classic symptoms of excessive thirst, increased urinary frequency, and constant hunger can appear suddenly. Many doctors treat only these diabetic symptoms without properly investigating their root cause. Glycemic control in these cases is often particularly challenging, not responding well to conventional diabetes treatments. This difficult control should serve as a warning for the possibility of an underlying pancreatic condition. 
The American Diabetes Association now recommends pancreatic investigation in cases of new onset diabetes in people over the age of 50. The combination of newly diagnosed diabetes with unexplained weight loss is considered a high warning sign. Have you noticed unexplained changes in your energy levels or your tolerance to sweet foods? 8. The silent swelling. That may be your last warning. Abdominal bloating related to pancreatic problems has specific characteristics that differentiate it from other causes. This swelling tends to be persistent and does not improve significantly even after bowel movements or periods of fasting. It is often accompanied by a feeling of fullness even after small meals. The abdomen may feel distended and tense to the touch, especially in the upper region. This symptom is caused by the accumulation of fluids in the abdominal cavity, a phenomenon known as ascites. It can also result from chronic inflammation of the tissues around the pancreas and surrounding organs. Bloating that doesn't respond to dietary changes may be the last alert your body issues before irreversible damage. Studies conducted by Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center show that abdominal bloating is present in more than 60% of pancreatic cancer patients. This symptom is often confused with weight gain, irritable bowel syndrome, or simple fluid retention. Confusion leads to inappropriate treatments like diuretics or restrictive diets that don't address the real problem. Medical experts recommend paying special attention if the swelling is asymmetrical or more pronounced on one side of the abdomen. This type of asymmetry can indicate a mass or increase in size of the pancreas itself or neighboring organs. The persistence of swelling for more than two weeks, especially when accompanied by other symptoms on this list, warrants urgent medical evaluation. Imaging tests such as CT scans or MRI are essential to properly investigate this symptom. Delay in diagnosis due to normalization of this swelling can have devastating consequences for prognosis. Have you noticed persistent changes in the volume or feel of your abs over the past few months? Your second chance starts now. The power is in your hands. Knowing these eight warning signs isn't just information, it's power over your own health. The pancreas may be silent, but now you know exactly how to hear what it's trying to say. Recognizing these signs early can literally make the difference between life and death in cases of severe pancreatic problems. Don't wait until multiple symptoms appear to take decisive action on your health. A single persistent sign of this list already warrants proper medical consultation and investigation. Tests such as serum amylase and lipase, ultrasound and CT scans are essential for an accurate diagnosis. Remember that pancreatic problems don't always mean the worst chances like cancer. Conditions such as acute and chronic pancreatitis, pancreatic cysts, or pancreatic insufficiency can be successfully treated when discovered in time. Your lifestyle also plays a crucial role in the health of your pancreas. Limiting alcohol consumption, avoiding smoking, maintaining a balanced diet, and exercising regularly are the best forms of prevention. Proper hydration and reducing the consumption of refined sugars and trans fats are also key for pancreatic health. Share this information with loved ones, as the knowledge you acquired today can save lives other than yours. Early detection completely transforms the prognosis of virtually all pancreatic conditions. Modern medicine offers increasingly effective treatments, but they fundamentally depend on a timely diagnosis. You now have the tools to be the guardian of your own health and the well-being of those you love. Vigilance is not paranoia. It is wisdom when we talk about an organ as vital and silent as the pancreas. Your body talks to you every day. From now on, you know exactly how to listen to it.